Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here, doing another reveal video on the brand new Marvel Legends revealed from yesterday's Hasbro Marvel team via Instagram. Try to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. It Such your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And just to give an announcement, I will be selling some of my extra Marvel Legends on Whatnot this Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Link in the description below. I'm not selling off my collection. These are extras that I thought I had something to do with and customize and just didn't. So anyway, these new figures right over here, I wanted to first talk about the Mojo World box set, which I like this packaging it looks very cool i do like it oh hasbro with the cool packaging i'm trying to throw this stuff away you guys make me keep these boxes around but anyway you can see here is the mojo set and we get long shot we get dazzler and then we get that wolverine slug right over there and they all look really cool uh, i'm actually pretty happy with what i'm seeing over here i kind of foresaw this but at the same time uh, I, I, you know, I didn't know exactly what I was going to see. I knew they were going to do it. They hinted at it, and here it is. Uh, these are 3D renders, and you can see it'll come with interchangeable hands and the two sets of heads, and then you can see this tongue head sculpt right over here looking very gross. I actually do like it. it looks cartoony though, but it is a 3D render. Long shot looks really good over here. I really like how this, this is going to be a much better figure than the Toy Biz version, right? Already, I can tell this is going to be a much better long shot. And then Dazzler over here, they gave her the new head sculpt, but they also swapped out the arms with the double-jointed pinless tech. Now, you can see the pins and the knees. I prefer pinless, but still, I'm happy they at least swapped out the arms. I've been wanting them to do that at the very least and yeah it makes me happy to see i also like those effects too those effects look dope they were able to get different colors in there and everything it looks like it's all molded into the plastic so hasbro messing with new technology and everything so pretty sweet and then you have your, your little uh, figurine right here of the slug so that uh, you just throw that into the display and then you have the boxes right over here uh, these are TV guides looking very cool. I actually uh, used to collect TV guides when I was a kid. Yeah, that's how awesome I am. That was my very first collection, actually. I started collecting TV guides when I was like seven or eight years old. I would get variant covers and everything. It's, it's kind of sad. But anyway, uh, I still, I think, I think my parents have the boxes in storage. But you can see the Marvel Hasbro team holding the figures. You can see Mojo right there with the tail that can rotate. So that's cool that we're seeing that articulation. Hopefully it sits better than the Toy Biz one. And you can see how much larger it is compared to the Toy Biz one, which very much makes me happy. Fairly large figure over here. It looks like it's easy to get sitting on the ground and everything and looking pretty natural. That was like one gripe I had with the Toy Biz one is that... Like, even with those little clear supports at the bottom, I still had a hard time getting the legs flush. And then we get a retro card, three, three quarter inch Sentinel. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not really into these. I have a couple of them. I have Spider Man, some Hulks. I might pick this one up, and it doesn't look bad, you know? It's just that this particular line, uh, I'm just very picky which with what I pick up. It may be a pass for me, but Star, uh, Star Lord, Fire Lord, oh goodness. Fire Lord is a figure that I've been wanting from Hasbro for quite some time, and we get the uh, Fantastic Four vintage card packaging over here, which looks pretty sick. So I'm really happy with this. This figure looks badass, man. I'm excited for this one. I really wanted this one a lot. And it's kind of funny they're using the Sunfire mold on the Fire Lord body. And I wanted to call him Star Lord. I'm getting all my words mixed up over here. But God, look at that head sculpt. That translucent orange and yellow fade right there and the flame effects. Oh, man. Looks so freaking sick. Yeah, very much excited for that one. And then we're getting a vintage collection retro card Iron Man with brand new vintage card packaging. We were worried about this. We thought the vintage collection... Uh, plastic use was going to be done away with, but nope, we get the Iron Man Vintage Collection packaging over here. Shout out Mr. Phils. And the figure itself, it's the same thing that we've gotten before, just painted slightly different, you know? And I'm okay with that for this particular figure. This isn't a figure that's like highly sought over in the aftermarket. I bought one not that long ago to repaint with Chrome. Yeah, it came out all right. I'll show it off in a video later on. But anyway, this looks cool. Not my favorite War Machine look. Might be a pass for me. I, I can't say I'm super thrilled about picking it up because I'm happy with the one that I have. Not for everybody, but if you're a Minton card collector, eh, you're probably going to want to get it. I can see that. 
And then we have a new Spider-Man figure. We have the Toei Japanese Spider-Man, and this looks pretty sweet. I did miss out on the SH Figure Arts version, and this looks solid enough to me. It has the pinless joints on the elbows, at least. It looks like with the legs, too. He does not have butterfly joints, which is frustrating. I think this is a reused body mold over here. It looks familiar. It could be... I don't know if it's a Mr. Fantastic figure or where, where it came from, but that... I, that, that's that got to be an older body mold with no butterfly joints right there. For a minute, I thought it may have been the first appearance Spider-Man one, but definitely no. Uh, but anyway, the figure itself looks pretty sweet. I like the wrinkles on the ankles and everything. You can see the Hasbro team. That looks like Dwight's holding it right over there. And then you can see that he will come with this, the webbing accessories. It looks like that's a new web accessory that I'm excited for. And then we also get another Spider-Man reveal. We have the Amazing Bagman. Yeah, they made a, a prototype of this many years ago. And I like that the suit, you know, matches my favorite set of my Fantastic Four figures from Hasbro. But yeah, he's got the kick me sign on the back. So very cool to see this figure finally arrive, right? They, I mean... It was one that we thought we were going to get a long time ago or kind of hoping for. And yeah, I think the vintage collection packaging for this or the retro card package right here looks really good. So yeah, that, that goes well with it. And then lastly, we have a new Sharon Carter figure. And this will be part of the Disney Plus Wave 2 Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave. And I just want to touch on the Ultron for a little bit because... I know it's an animated Ultron, and I wasn't expecting really, really cool paint apps, but I gotta say, just from this image right here, the silver on the Ultron looks like it's going to be amazing. I, I, I'm very excited for that Ultron Build-A-Figure. That looks really cool. Now, Sharon Carter looks pretty awesome, too. I like the head sculpt and everything, um, but I'm just not particularly thrilled with this figure. I don't know. I, I feel like I wanted to like her more in the show, but I didn't like her as much as I wanted to in the show. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to, to gauge these things. It, it's, Falcon and the Winter Soldier wasn't my absolute favorite of the Disney Plus series uh, wave, but, you know, or, or the Disney Plus uh, series shows. So I don't know. Well, what do you guys think? Which one are you most excited for? Um, I'm leaning towards the Toei Spider-Man because I was, I've been bummed out about missing out on, uh, far, well, Fire Lord. Yeah, because, I mean, I have a mojo already. I have Longshot and Dazzler. So I feel like Fire Lord and the Toei Spider-Man are the two that I'm I'm most pumped for. Those are the ones that I want the most. I'm curious to know which one uh, you guys are most pumped for. Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, Fire Lord and the Toei Spider-Man. Those are the two for me, for sure. So curious to know what you guys think. I'm really happy with what they're doing with the Dazzler. The mojo looks great. So yeah, let me know which one you're most excited for. Go ahead and hit that like button if you liked this video. Hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends reviews coming your way. I have the Thor Love and Thunder Wave that I got a review. I'm going to do individual reviews and I'll make them snappy. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.